only by understanding we can correct two big misunderstandings and afterwards we can get the 5-6 unification. The first misunderstanding is about all the units of the 5-6. We can get the 5-6 unification only by proceeding as in the sequent nine, nine points. One, we have to well remember that more than two centuries ago, by convention, Physics imposed as the first general assumption that every one unit of the physics had the common bond of the ten cycle. Now every one unit belongs to the ten number as to a whole unit only if ten is a power acting on the cycle in the cyclic action having the index zero and so standing in its simple and unitary potentiality. Point two. When by the real unitary action of the unitary dynamic one cycle, this index starting from zero becomes plus one we have that the power 1 is incremented in a unitary way of 9 units in the, cy in the cyclic's action and its corresponding reaction is of 1 ninth in conformity with the fifth dynamic law said of action and reaction therefore the unitary wave of the energy adds, in the, adds to the nine of the action the ninth of the reaction and it gets the number 9.111 which is a defini definite in the nine units and is not definite in the infinite period of the tenth units. Point three. Since we need the unitary determination in both the fields of the space-time, of the unitary presence, and not only in the first one of nine units, equal to nine plus one in absolute, we have to introduce the first determination of the infinite subsequent tense by considering only 10 subsequent tens that can balance the 10 present cycle made unitary one by 9 subsequent units of the free acceleration of the forces energy point 4 therefore starting from 10 tenths as from one absolute unitary worth, we have to transform it in an unitary quantity by its relative own unit. What is the unit of the absolute quantity big 0 0.111111 and having exactly 10 tenths subsequent in the tenth time? The answer. The answer is we can get it by the real measurement of the free electromagnetism of the electron. Point five. We have to measure an electromagnetic wave in its own energy, which is equal to its own mass. The mass equal energy of the light belongs to the mass of the matter particle named the electron. Its own real wave of mass equal energy has the integer 9 units like the up of the wave 
containing the presence of the unitary matter that is nine times forced by acceleration and has 0.1093897544 decimals like the down of the wave containing the absence of the unitary matter that is of the unitary antimatter made by ten tenths that are nine times inversely forced in the tenth point six in the electron mass we can observe that the real unitary balance between the nine units of the unitary mass equal energy of the matter and the equal and the contrary ten subsequent tenths of the unitary antimatter exists between 9 and 0.1093897 here 0.1093897 is resulting by 9 in the unitary way of the inverse 9th equal to 0 point one 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 in ten tens which is reduced by the quantity of zero point zero zero one seven two one three five seven one point seven therefore the particles believe the unitary mass of nine point one zero nine three eight 9754 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 51 kilograms is not referred only to the matter but to the 10 cycle of the unitary matter in the integer 9 units and it is referred to the decimal cycle of the antimatter in the decimal part of the number it is like in every complex and unitary wave of energy which is appearing as matter and antimatter like the up and down of every well-balanced wave by consequence the electron mass is only 9 times 10 raised to minus 51 kilograms because the decimal part big 0.1093897545 times 10 raised to minus 51 kilogram is the antimatters unit of the positron point 0.8 when the unit of the matters amassment is 9 raised to minus 1 and the unit of the electric expansion is a 9 raised to plus 1 we finally have the physics unification between the 9 energy of the amassment and the 9 energy of the electric expansion different only by the unitary sign plus or less of the unitary power Point nine. Therefore, also C2 must be exactly a 9, that is 10 raised to 17th meters raised to 2, second raised to minus 2. In every one of the 9 versors of the space obtained by multiplication of 3 by 3 in the three dimensions of the unitary space in fact the unitary inversion in the 10 cycle of the energy equal mass starting from 0 and arriving to plus 10 exists in a negative way by plus 10 minus 1 equal to plus 9 
and in positive way by 0 plus 1 equal to plus 1. In conclusion, the physics unification can be obtained only by the correction of the two misunderstandings of today regarding as the unitary matter masses as the unitary energies in the Einstein's product mc2 regarding the unitary energy in the 10 cycle of the increasing unitary time in 10 tens the unitary energy must be stopped in this time only acting as 10 minus 1 because the opposite action of the mass going on in the same time is 0 plus 1 and uh, this is all we can have the physics unification only correcting these two big misunderstandings as the <coughs> unitary mass as in the <coughs> Einstein's equation because the Einstein's equation is not all the <coughs> energy of a mass but only the most possible translation of the mass in both the direction electric C and magnetic C and not in that of the transversal plane of the electromagnetism.